Hey everybody, what's going on? How's everything? How's everyone in the family? Anyways, today I do have this USB that we do end up in here. It's a broken USB. You see that? Actually did come off completely. And I got it guillotined, right? We well, it's completely off there. There's good news for that one, especially if we have any type of data recovery. We have actually a little special little tool that we actually do use. It's something like this, and you can see uh, we actually do have the four connections as well. It's pretty much acting as another head to the USB as well. So what we can do is we can actually, since we have this cool little tool here, we can go ahead and see if we can just connect it, hopefully solder it, uh, solder the these cables down, match it up, and see if it's going to actually come up and show if there's any data. Um, that's usually the best case scenario. If there's another case scenario, because the thing has been cut off, guillotined, whatever you want to call it, sometimes there can also be a short to uh, the NAND flash or something else. We're going to hope that's not the case because then that would be a lot more work and the data, obviously getting off the data will be a lot more difficult. So let's go ahead and see that if we could do that today. Before we actually get into that, we like to show a lot of videos of a lot of inf informative stuff that we do here. We always like to like, keep you guys informed, show the work that we really do. And if you want to actually help us show other people the same type of repairs that we do here or give all the information out there, if you can just actually hit that like, just go down there, hit that like button. It really does help us a lot and it'll help shoot our videos up to the stars. Everyone could go, go ahead and see it and provide more information for other people and to spread the word that... Uh, and to spread the word for the repairs that we do and the information that we provide. So let's just get right into it. Let's see if we solder it and see if we can go ahead and make sure it works. And we want to show you guys what it is. So the idea is, right, we want to match up. See these? It's not too bad. It doesn't look too horrible, right? There's a lot of solder there. There's no broken traces there. So hopefully it should, should be actually pretty uh, straightforward and easy to do. So we have that. And then we also want to just connect these to there, right? That's all we need to do. All right, so we're just going to go connect these. There's only four pads that we need to connect to, and that's going to make it uh, pretty easy to do here. really won't take too long. And we're just going to make sure they're connected on each one. It has to be uh, the right ones, too. It has to be the right connections. Otherwise, it would give a problem as well. But this is going to be fine. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we have it done, ready here. Let's go ahead and connect and see if it works. Okay, so I have it here. <laughs> I have the diabol... Uh, all right, so I have my diabolical creation here. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it's going to go ahead and work. So, we'll see. It should, if it gets a chime, you should at least go ahead and see it there. I need to be careful while plugging it in, too. Uh, let's see. Okay, it did come up actually as a problem, but it did go ahead and boot itself there, too. Uh, there's a light that's actually on, too. Let's see. So there it is. See, it's plugged in. It has a light. All right, now let's go back to our computer and see what we actually see here. So it does come up here. Um, there is is about four gigs, and you can see it actually does. It actually said it had an error for a second there. Click it and see. I don't really want to show the customer's information there, but there are some stuff that's actually here. Especially there's like a documents folder and there's some other music and songs here. But it does also show the name of the drive here. So I want to make sure I transfer this, make sure there's no other problems before. We work on it any extra further or anything else but i think it looks to be okay because at least it's connecting so we're gonna go ahead and do a transfer for all, everything here and then the data should actually be pretty good and it's just a quick little easy fix we can actually do to move everything else over okay guys so our little tool actually did work here our little usb tool we have lots of cool stuff obviously to help us do repairs as well if we didn't have this it's just a lot more work but this is on a actually this is a sand disc it's a really small one it's a sand disc it's a four gig uh, USB sandus that we were able to extract the data. We were able to recover it. There was only like two gigs full, but there is definitely a lot of data that was on there. We were able to do the recovery as well. This did actually work. It's a quick little fix. I'm glad we had the tools. Everything we're here, we're very fortunate to have microscope, soldering tools, and lots of things to get the data off and to make it a little bit easier for our clients. So we want to make sure we were able to get the data straight forward. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys always watch this video on how to repair um, a broken USB flash drive. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Uh, we do lots of data recovery, liquid spills, MacBook repair stuff, soldering stuff, uh, lots of cool things as well. If you enjoyed, please do like. Again, those really does help us a lot. See you guys next video. Take care. Bye.